Looking up to the skies, drone deliveries will soon be a constant in the nation's airspace thanks to a recently launched FAA program. The federal agency's Integration Pilot Program, or IPP, is working with local, state, and tribal governments in order to set up a regulatory framework for the emerging tech. Ten partners were chosen to test their respective drone capacities. There's a um, mix between community interests and economic um, uh, and business and, and safety uh, interests. How we are going to assimilate the local needs with the federal uh, needs for drones. From mosquito mitigation in Florida, wild hog population control in Oklahoma, and medical supply delivery in Reno, Nevada, creative and innovative solutions abound. One company, Flirty, a program partner, successfully flew two drones by one pilot, a recent industry first, to deliver defibrillators in real time to people under cardiac arrest. And we think that we can increase the survival rate from the national average of about 10% today to up to 50%. And what that means is that nationwide, our technology can save about 150,000 lives a year. This fast track approval is bridging the public private sector divide and letting bureaucracy catch up. Well, Silicon Valley, which is used to doing change in, changes in their tech uh, uh, generations in months, um, FAA and the aviation world, the big aviation world, is used to doing um, technological refreshes and changes in the kind of in decades. We, we just don't throw things up there and see what happens. Yeah. The Trump administration approved the program with the backing of Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao. Elwell admits there's still a long way to go, but lauded the success of this important first step. In Las Vegas, Andrew Kraft, Fox News.